morning, you two. Hope everything's off to a fine start at your house this morning. Ooh, sure is. It's hot, but it's the weather is getting so much nicer. I've seen a really nice buck coming into your place today. It crossed right here at the top of this hill. And, uh, Anyway, we uh, changed a uh, prop shaft on a 2018 Polaris Ranger and a lot of slop in it. Uh, we changed the whole assembly because of the simple fact that I was afraid uh, of, of just what I found when I got back out here. I was just going to change the U joints. And I got to thinking about it. I said, Man, that thing had a lot of slop in it. What if I get in there and change a few joints and it, it, that's not going to fix it? So, um, I, I made the right call on that call. So, I went ahead and ordered uh, the whole prop shaft assembly and changed it out. On the adjoining video, you'll see, I'll tell you exactly how I did it. There is no sense in me going through all of the motions of, of you, uh, showing you me working. Um, it's really, really rather it was easy. Uh, just it took a little time. Uh, I used a piece of pipe about four foot four. Well, a piece of inch and a half pipe about four foot long. And took, got on the drive shaft and was able to knock it back and move it around in the back and slide it out through the front and uh, it, it just, it, everything went smooth. Everything went smooth, let's say that. I'm going home now and going to go pick up a lady's push mower in town and, and I guess clean her carburetor. I'll catch you guys on, on the flip flop. Y'all enjoy your day and uh, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Take your clutch cover off, set it aside. Then take your floorboard panel out. Jack it up and take your tire and wheel off on your right hand side. Then take a 5 16 drift pin punch and drive the pin out of it. Then take a pipe and drive your drive shaft back onto your, your onto your shaft under your clutch cover and manipulate it around underneath your floorboard to come out to the right hand side of your your front differential and just slide it out just slide it out you may have to use a pry bar to help get you some room on the on your floorboard panel but it will come out through the front then replace it just the way it came out and put you a 5 16 um, case hardened bolt with a nylock nut on it and use some red Loctite to hold it in place. And uh, you should never have any slop in it. It slides in like a glove. <laughs>